Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm test driving a car for a customer that came to the shop with complaint about his brakes and what they do what they actually did at home was they replaced the brake pads but not the rotors and this is a BMW 3 series I believe it's a, either a 10 or 12 2010 or 12 and as you can hear this is their complaint I mean it's pretty bad you know the, the noise that I'm making right now that's the front rotors but they also did the rear um, so far I can only hear the front and it's very loud that's coming from the from the brake pads with the rotors so yeah that's that's me and I made another video earlier I believe a couple months ago about this situation with German vehicles where you're not supposed to change only the brake pads or or only the rotors yeah um, so this is the actual proof of why you're not supposed to do this and I will show you when I get back to the shop in what condition are the actual rotors because we cannot see the brake pads but the the rotors are in pretty bad shape um, and I need to open the actually we need to change the rotors and I need to inspect the brake pads and see if they are actually destroyed or not they should be brand new or new but I you cannot trust uh, you know customers because of what they say uh, because that's just a normal thing they exaggerate things sometimes not all the time sometimes so I will continue the video in a few seconds when I get back to the shop okay guys I'm back at the shop and I'm inspecting the rotors and of course there's a problem with them and it's pretty obvious you can see all these grooves um, right there in the middle um, that's pretty much <laughs> this is overheating that black streak right in the middle that that also almost like a finger um, width uh, it's almost it looks like almost like the rotor is almost getting welded with the brake pads and we need to replace these obviously even though they don't have a groove on the outside where you can usually see this that they're worn out but something is going on so I do need to take the brake pads out um, and inspect them also but according to the customer they're brand new Techstar we use Techstar um, haven't had really you know problems with them or if there's a problem it's pretty rare but as you can see that's the situation really bad and this is why when you um, replace brakes on German vehicles Mercedes BMW Porsche Volkswagen Audi you have to replace the rotors with the brake pads together um, it's for your own safety it's so you, they actually make pr so they can actually work properly and also I try to explain this in another video the material that these brake rotors are made from is much softer than what they use in other let's say Japanese or American vehicles and that's why they have to be replaced together because they actually work together and when the brake pad is wearing out it's actually the rotors the rotors are being worn out at the same time the brake pads are being worn out and that is the reason why German vehicles can actually stop better and faster. Of course, they use other technologies they help them with that, but mainly it's because of that uh, softer material in the rotors. The rear kind of looks to be fine, but um, since something is going on with the front, 
we're going to uh, probably replace the rear rotors also um, and then I need to inspect that those brake pads and see if there's something wrong with them but what happens is in this case is the surface on the new brake pads is much stronger and harder that's the the you know zero or braking surface and that braking surface most likely overheated it overheated the the um the rotor and that's why this happened so this rotor is done actually most cases um the brake pad when you do that to a brake pad you actually destroy the brake pad yourself so we'll see maybe we can grind that surface on the brake pads to save the customer you know some money on the brake pads but it's not a guarantee and it's kind of a shot in the dark um because it may work it may not and then you have to you know we have to take the uh, the wheels again and, and try to install new brake pads so we'll figure out some decision or we'll work out you know according um, with the customer but that is the situation and this is why um, you need to replace rotors and brake pads all together when you do the service on German vehicles so again thanks very much for watching please like my videos and please subscribe see you in the next video